Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making a crock pot low carb coffee cake. All while having a whole lot of fun. Look at this. I wish you could smell this. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com. I am Mikey from RecipesThatCrock.com. And today we are making a low carb coffee cake in our crock pot. I need to make sure this is on first. Hang Actually, on. it's it's being a pirate. It's saying err, which means no, it was not happy. <laughs> um, you know what? What? When you're not happy, you make the same noise. I know. <laughs> are you a ninja? Is this on, by the way? Yes, it's on. Just, just double checking. Okay. We sometimes have problems with that. Not you, I mean me. I sometimes don't. That's why I'm here today, baby. <laughs> I am here to help you out. Alright, so I have been making this particular recipe for a really long time, but for the most part, I usually make it in the oven. The other day, I started thinking, maybe I should try that in the crock pot because I like this coffee cake so much that I think we will enjoy it for the holidays, like as a breakfast, you know, with a nice cup of coffee, coffee cake, makes a whole lot of sense. But we, we will be in the RV, so we won't have an oven at our disposal, so I thought... Well, we do, but it's an easy bake oven, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it in the crock pot, and I'll tell you what, after testing it in the crock pot, I'm not going to make it in the oven anymore. Oh my goodness, Addie and I both agree because we de you eat it sometimes. I had some of it last night. Yeah. Holy <laughs> moly. But Addie, Fluffy and good. Uh, Addie and I have regularly eaten it out of the oven and I will tell you, out of the slow cooker it comes out fluffier and it keeps its moisture a lot more. You know how a coffee cake can sometimes dry out a little bit in the oven? Not this one. Not in the mm -hmm. crock pot. So, we're going to show you how to do that. And so, this is coming also because I've been getting um, several requests from crock posse members to show you guys more things to make with carb quick because you might buy it for like our air fryer fried chicken or um, our strawberry shortcake and then you're like, I got a whole three pound box, what else can I make? Well, they have all kinds of stuff on the outside of the box, but I usually end up tweaking everything to kind of be our own style. Um, and what I ended up doing to make my carb quick coffee cake is tweak my old, old version of a Bisquick, Bisquick coffee cake. So I just kind of ignored everything on the outside of the box and just made it the way that I've always my wife's okay. always been one to think outside of the box. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to need right now for the base of the coffee cake is two cups of Carb Quick in a bowl. We're going to be doing two different batches of stuff. We're going to do the um, base of the coffee cake and we're going to do the topping, the strudel topping. So we've got two cups in my bowl for the main part of the cake. And to that, I'm going to add a third cup of sugar substitute. We are using Sucrin 1 for that. This isn't the powdered sugar, sugar version. This is like the straight up regular one to one. We're going to put a pinch of salt, an egg, and two thirds cup water. Don't worry if you're playing along at home. There'll be a link down below that'll show you to the printable recipe. So we've got all of that going on in my bowl. Meanwhile... In my bowl? What do I got? You've got a third cup of carb quick, and he's going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon to that, and he's going to add a two-thirds cup brown sugar substitute, and for that we are using Sucrin Gold. Now you can get all of these things, I think, in our Amazon um, influencer shop. We typically buy things in bulk um, from online low-carb stores and that kind of thing, so once or twice a year I'll go on and buy a whole bunch and then stock the pantry and the camper and then I don't have to worry about it. So, um, because I find that I can usually find it cheaper that way. But if you have a brown sugar substitute that you love, if you're low carb, um, go for that. Um, you're just going to want the equivalent of two thirds cup uh, brown sugar. And if you are not low carb, you can totally make this with all the carby ingredients like use Bisquick instead of carb quick, use regular brown sugar, use regular sugar, and you'll you can play along at home too. 
So once you get all your dry ingredients, what's this? That's that's once you get all your dry ingredients in your bowl. Oh, sorry. You're gonna take a um, half a stick or a fourth of a cup of cold butter that's been cubed up really small, and you're just gonna crumble it into that sugar until you have a nice crumbly strudel topping. How many tablespoons? One. It's one teaspoon. Well, you that's, got a tablespoon. No, that's a teaspoon. Wait, that is a teaspoon. Little tea. Little tea. <laughs> We're good. Okay, so while he's putting together the strudel topping, I'm just adding a pinch of salt to this. I'm going to do all my dry ingredients before I add my wet ingredients. Um, How much? Um, can I use it real quick? <laughs> We're going to do a third in mine, and you're going to do two thirds in yours. So a third in mine, and two thirds in yours. Oh, honey. No, 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 no. Okay, first of all, that's really expensive. Well, I was spilling it. Oh, I well, should do it over the bowl. Should, no, oh, no, no, no. Do it like this. You push it down in there and you pack it inside so you don't lose it. Because yeah. this is really expensive stuff. <laughs> don't go dumping it in my trash. <laughs> Entitle this the one where Chris has a cow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he was throwing away literally gold. <laughs> Just a little. All right. Okay. And now I'm going to stay out of trouble, stir up my stuff. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, I also failed to mention inside my uh, slow cooker, I have two tablespoons of butter heating up. <laughs> I'm going to shut this off now. Mercy sakes. Heating up in the inside. If you are using a regular slow cooker, you can just melt it in your microwave. We just want this to coat the bottom and the sides of the pans so that when we put the, um, the coffee cake in it, one, it doesn't stick, but it also gives it a nice buttery crust. Because that's one of the things that the slow cooker struggles with a little bit more than in the oven is getting those nice golden parts sometimes. So the butter helps it golden up. Mm -hmm. And it tastes amazing. So I know some of y'all are going to ask me if you can use a casserole crock on this. The answer is technically yes. But if you want a nice fluffy, um, fluffy coffee cake, I would recommend going with a traditional um, slow cooker, six quart slow cooker, or something like a Ninja, anything with a non stick. And the reason I would recommend that is because the casserole crock, the center doesn't get as much rise in it because it's so flattened out. So you're going to get a flatter coffee cake. It's pretty, it's nice you can enjoy it that way uh, if that's the way you want it but if you want it to have a little bit of fluff to it then i would definitely use either a traditional slow cooker or your ninja for this one okay so i've almost got my batter mixed up here my crumble is there perfect okay so the batter's going to go in first and i like to grab a um, spatula to kind of smush it in because you're gonna it's gonna take a little bit to get it all spread out but it will fluff up just nice don't have to worry about that I just want to make sure I get all the crumble down or the batter from the bottom okay so it's gonna look a little bit like biscuit dough and we're just gonna Plop this in here. Now, as immediately as it starts getting down in there, it's going to start kind of melting because that's a hot crock. This one is at least. Mine oh, wait, no, no, looks no. like a potato. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm having a cat. You think I was just going to dump it in there? <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were doing. You were you, making it you frazzled me by throwing away my... I have created a golden potato. Okay, so what you're gonna want is yours all crumbly though, not solid. Well. Okay. It's like Play-Doh day for you. It is. <laughs> it's like a Play-Doh potato. 
Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of uh, maneuvering, but you just kind of work it until you get it all flattened out and spread out. And it's okay that you got extra butter there. It'll kind of soak up on the edges in particular. Just keep pushing until you get it all spread out over the bottom. You don't want any of the bottom of the slow cooker to show. It doesn't have to be perfect, like it doesn't have to be perfectly even, but try it. Try to get it as even as you can. Try to be as perfect as me. Yeah. That didn't sound like a very convincing yeah. <laughs> you have me frazzled, I'm sorry. I can tell. <laughs> he can't dip out my gold sugar. It's, it's like he's going to throw it in there like a potato. <laughs> it's like... It's like that time you like totally dumped an entire jar of Rayos all over the kitchen. That was, I was not like, a good day. Woo! Okay, so now this is all spread out. So now it's your turn, dear. Yay! You just okay, crumble. You want to crumble it evenly all over the top. Excuse me. Okay. She's gonna wash me like a hawk when I do this. I'm just gonna get you away from the trash can. And guess what? What? That slow cooker's hot. <laughs> You're gonna want to crumble. Lots of crumble, dear. Well, I'm not even halfway done yet. It smells good. I smell that cinnamon in this crumble. And as soon as it starts to hit that heat, it starts popping out. How's that? Am I doing okay? You're doing okay. Just get it really spread out. Even if it's a little dustier than Mike's, it'll be okay because it'll add little cinnamon places you know, throughout. You know how a coffee cake has some of those really nice, buttery, cinnamony um, bites, buttery and then what? some plain bites. That's kind of the the taste you're going for. Cinnamony. Cinnamony. Now I'm nervous. I'm not crumbling it up good enough. I'm well. There's a big glob right there. We can break that up. There we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to cook this on high. Our ninja cooks it on high um, in 45 minutes. Perfect. Like, it's done that every time I've tested it. Now, if you have a traditional slow cooker, it may take you a little bit longer to get that center done. Um, so it could take anywhere. I've seen traditional slow cookers, depending on how, how hot they cook, take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to two, two and a half. So you're just going to have to watch it the first time you make it to see how your, or if you know what a cake typically bakes up in yours, that's kind of the tentative uh, time that I would go for you guys. But for us, I know our ninja is going to have it done in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to let Mike you know continue what? to burn himself ninja's still hot. and finish that. Uh, what? Are you doing on it! So we're going to put this on high, and we'll see you in 45 minutes in 3, 2, 1. And we are back, and it is time to eat cake. <laughs> and this kitchen smells amazing. Now, do as I say and not as I do. This immediately is just now done. So you can see it's golden on the edges, and the center is just set. And it can be a little deceptive, particularly with the carb quick. You just pull back and you can see that yes, it's not doughy, it is actually caked up underneath there. So um, it, that's how you know the center is done. And as soon as the center is done, turn off the heat because we want to keep all that yummy moisture in this cake. What you should do, and I'm not going to do, is you should let this cool down at least, uh, I would say maybe a half an hour. Um, you still kind of want to enjoy it warm, um, but you kind of want everything to kind of rest a little bit. It's kind of like you're gonna, cookies. You're going to smoosh it down yeah, it's, when, it's when like you cut into it. When you make chocolate it. chip cookies, you kind of want to let them cool for a little bit before you get into but them. But who does that? No, we don't either. Okay. I'm going to keep you out of trouble right now. Uh-oh. Ma'am, because I know that if I was getting ready to use that metal spatula on that no stick, wrong one. But I can't one. use that. Okay, so I have this one. That's not going to work either. See, I'm doing this. I know people are going to yell at me. That's not going to work either. I don't, it's not sharp enough. So ideally what I would have. Here's another do as I say. Not a, this is why you let this cool off. <laughs> 
need to go find a plastic spatula so you don't scratch the inside of your ninja as I scratch the outside of it. Um, she did I am going to very carefully go in and cut pieces. Uh, I like to cut this into eight slices pretty much. Now I'm not going to cut it into eight right now because it's hot. I like to cut it once it cools down a little bit so that I don't like mess it up. But um, I cut it into eight slices because if I don't cut it into portions, my family will consume like half of it all at the same time. Um, it's that good. But the way I do uh, cut this into eight is I usually cut across um, in the middle. Now you see how it's kind of flaking up as I go across? That's because it's not um, cooled off enough. And then I would cut all the way across in the halfway mark long ways. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to cut that up because I don't want to mess it up. I'm only messing half of it up this way. You can have that half. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that, that, <laughs> that isn't ready yet. Okay. So I was very gentle with my metal spatula, and once this dries or cools down a little bit, it wouldn't be getting all over my spatula like that. It kind of really stays put together. But, hon, if you want to give me your plate. I do. It's And it doesn't fall apart at all when it's cooled off. I'm not doing a good job. I have to be on a call, and frankly, I don't trust these two people in here. <laughs> if if I don't because tape she's this, smart. Now, if I don't tape this now to show you guys now, um, I'm not sure it will still be here when I come back down. To to prove my point, I made one of these yesterday, and there is none of it left. It's because it's that good. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I wish. You could smell this. You know what it smells like? It smells like a brown sugar and cinnamon pop tart. Uh, it kind of tastes like one too. It really does. It really, really Particularly does. Particularly after it cools off, yeah. it really does. Oh my goodness. See how that cinnamon crumble that I made? Look, I made that cinnamon crumble. Look how that just stayed on top like that. Kind of set itself down in the cake a little bit. It's so tender. <laughs> is that your coffee cake dance? Mm -hmm. It is really good warm, guys. But I would... Y'all can have this with coffee if you want. I would let it cool off just a little bit. Um, but uh, it still is really, really good. And it's just like coffee cake. It's got those yummy, gooey parts where the cinnamon and sugar our sugar substitute are seeping down into it with a yummy just base cake. It's really buttery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's it's still, even though I cut into it hot, is still really fluffy, particularly in the slow cooker. Now, I would keep this oh I put my lid over there. I need to go wash off my lid and put it back. I would keep this covered. You might let it cool off with with the lid off a little bit. But then I keep it covered and that keeps the cake nice and moist. It does not have to go into the refrigerator. It can sit on the counter um, like some other cakes can. Um, but you would want to keep the lid on it and keep it or keep it in some sealed container and it keeps the cake nice and moist. If it stays that long. If it lasts, yes. That's, I, did, I did manage to be able to get a slice of it for breakfast this morning. Um, I think that's all that was left. Um, and it had stayed overnight with the lid and it still was super moist and super delicious. How long do you think, if people had the willpower, how long do you think this would keep? Um, I'd say probably two to three days, like most things like that. Um, but I don't think you're going to have a problem, particularly if you're making this for, as a low-carb option for the holidays or something like that. Um, I've, I don't think I've ever had it around longer than that to... <laughs> Yes. That's why I had to ask because I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, if you do, let me know. <laughs> mm. Speaking of totally. letting us know, mm -hmm. if you like what you're seeing here, let us know. Give us a thumbs up down below at the bottom of this video. And also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, what do they do, Chris? Um, <laughs> eat cake. <laughs> okay, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> no. Um, uh, click subscribe down below.
And then you'll I knew I was going to catch her off guard so I could eat the rest of my <laughs> cake hill. Then, uh, then you'll become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Huh? And if you like notified every time we upload a video, click the dangling. That's the notification bell down below, and YouTube will notify you. I was just making sure you're not taking mine. <laughs> YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video, regardless of what it is. All that's left, left is to laugh often, eat good food, and hey. speak life. <laughs> Give me that cake. I'm saving your life. Get away from me. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> and we'll see you in 45 minutes. In three, two, one. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.